All right, now we're going to go ahead and tweak our physics body is a little more. I did notice that I forgot to add the one for the head, so I'm going to do that. So with the head selected and make sure the primitive type is capsule, we'll go ahead and select add body. It's in there, it's just really small. Again, I will just make sure that that is just below the surface there. We'll go ahead and adjust our constraints. Set our linear limits to limited. I think I'll, I'll set that to 15, our limit. And let's go to our angular limits, and I'm gonna set these to 15. And let's not forget our linear motor. And I'll set that to something like 500. And we'll go ahead and simulate this. So that just gives us an extra bit of jiggle there and it's it's continuing to jiggle which I think I might dial that back a little bit and that means I'll try this the linear motor strength here I'll set that to 1500 let's see it's a little better Okay, now, a couple things that I want to show you. Uh, the linear constraint, these are indicators of how much movement you're going to get. So if I'm working on the head here, and I set that linear constraint to, I believe, 15. If I set it to something like 50, you can see that you get an idea of how far that is going to translate. If I simulate that, I think since I have the linear motor going, it kind of relaxes it a little bit. I think I want to dial back the angular limit. Let's try setting that to five. So much more gelatin-like result Something else I want to show you is for these angular limits, I think I have mine turned down. If you go under character, constraints, constraint scale, I, if I turn these, these up, they're in there. You can see them. It's kind of difficult to see them because of the green, but you can see these little cones down here. And I believe you can see, you can see this one quite nicely. So this is the rotation constraint for the head physics body. And if I, if I dial these up, if I make them something like 45, you can see how that cone changes. So that's a 45 degree angle in each axis. If I set it to something like 360, well, my bad, 180. You can see what we get. If I simulate that, you can see we get a lot more movement. I'm gonna drop that back down. I think I had it set at five initially. We'll set those to two. So that really, by setting these values lower, it really, it really drops the amount of rotation that you get when the physics body simulates. And 
the root. I don't have a sim physics body on the root. I started with the middle joint. And then you can see how narrow that that cone is. I want to dial the linear limit back. Turn up the linear motor. Okay. I'm going to try turning that up more. It looks like I could dial back the rotation, the angular axes on the upper physics bodies. So I'm going to do that as well. seems cleaner. If I hold control and right click on one of these, we can kind of just kind of play around with it. And that jiggle effect is looking pretty nice. In the next video tutorial, we're going to go ahead and bring this in level and we're going to make a simple blueprint out of it to kind of bring it to life a little bit and to add some additional behavior to the skeletal mesh.